What's going on, everyone? I hope you are ready for Thanksgiving if you do celebrate it. I actually have two pieces I'm gonna include in the same video for you today, one of which is an update of what's going on with that of Binance, as well as an update of what's going on with Sam Bankman Freed. As usual, I'll include the links to these articles down in the description below. Now, I did previously talk about what was going on with Binance, the possibility of them having this $4 billion settlement going on with the Department of Justice this well there's also been some furtherance with this and it includes the ceo so the binance users they're pulling out more than a billion dollars worth from their exchange after this news came out the ceo is leaving or has already left i should say there's a new person that has already taken his spot and has mentioned it via twitter so a lot of people already seen this person being proactive with the community space and some of the key points for this one then i want to highlight what's actually going on in the other article that was breaking news we have this element these elements here for binance they have seen outflows amounting to more than one billion dollars in the past 24 hours not including bitcoin according to data from blockchain analysis from Nansen. The founder and CEO, Changpeng Zhao, and others were charged with violating the Bank Secrecy Act by failing to implement an effective anti-money laundering program and for willfully violating U.S. economic sanctions. So previously we had talked about that it looked like it was a possibility they could be going after CZ. Now it's a formal thing. Binance agreed to forfeit $2.5 billion to the government and pay a fine of $1.8 billion. So that's a combined $4.3 billion in, quote, one of the largest penalties we have ever obtained, end quote, according to U.S. Attorney General Merrick Garland. So a very substantial amount of money. Now, moving over here to the article with Sam Bankman Freed. From Cointelegraph, the appeals court rejects Sam Bankman-Fried's bid for release. No surprise there. The court cited Sam Bankman-Fried's alleged witness tampering as the main grounds for rejecting his release bid. FTX founder and convicted fraudster Sam Bankman-Fried will stay jailed after failing to convince a United States appellate court that he should be freed while his legal team appeals his conviction. In a November 21st mandate, the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit said Bankman Freed's previous attempts to tamper with two witnesses while on pretrial release was a major reason behind rejecting his request. Quote, we have reviewed the defendant, uh, the defendant appellant's additional arguments and find them unpersuasive, the court said. I was a tongue twister. Government prosecutors accused Bankman Freed of leaking Caroline Ellison's diaries to the New York Times in July, which caused his bail to be revoked by a New York district court. Bankman Freed argued the New York court failed to consider that he was engaged in activity, considered freedom of speech protected under the First Amendment. The appellate court, however, said the New York district court ruled correctly and that witness tampering, quote, falls outside the zone of constitutional protection. Bankman Freed's legal team also argued that the district court failed to consider a less restrictive alternative to detention. That argument was struck down with the court stating that the district court, quote, thoroughly considered all relevant factors, including Bankman Freed, while he was on pretrial release. Bankman Freed was found guilty of seven fraud and money laundering related charges on November 2nd. The former FTX CEO will remain behind bars while he awaits his sentencing on March 28th next year. So there you go, guys. There's the latest updates of what happened with Binance, with CZ from Binance, how people have been reacting to this news with Binance. We did see some pullback on the BNB. Seems like it's starting to calm down a little bit. We'll see how things continue to play out as time goes by. But again, there is a new CEO already in place for Binance. This is also a settlement that's going through this penalty that is being paid over $4 billion to the Department of Justice. But guess what? Binance is still operating. It's still functioning. So curious to see how things will continue from this point onwards. And then we also have the news that we just talked about here with Sam Bankman-Fried. 
again no surprise to me maybe it's a surprise to you i'd be surprised if you're surprised but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments below his rejection of that getting release and that's what i got for you in this video thank you so much to my patreon supporters a double shout out thank you to we love victor vegas x moon Oz for being higher level patrons thank you to my youtube members for your support as well i hope you guys have a great thanksgiving be safe, and I will see you guys in the next video.